to you know what be you sorry got to for lose. This. And smart watches. So we have another black celebrity acting like a jackass on a plane. And smart watches. Okay. Please yeah. switch them. You're recording me, but you- this is the girl who um, won the Olympic trials for the United States, but couldn't go to the Olympics because she tested positive for marijuana. And everybody remember the whole racial turmoil that started after that if she was white they would have still let her go and all this shit remember that this is that girl the the the, the almost olympian and smart watches okay. please yeah. switch them you're recording me but you jumped yeah. in my video so i caught you, you because like you jumped in my video your yeah, you're harassing me at this point so i think you should stop i think time. you should stop okay. i think you should stop you see him right y'all see him right Y'all see him, right? Okay. Okay, but I'm sorry. It's not me. Okay, talk to him. No, no, no. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not. Do, do not talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. Tell him to stop. And always, we always gotta remind you. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass woman. We, but you know, and hold the like crowd that. for. Oh, I got black girl magic because I've got the crowd behind me. No, that, that those people are telling her to shut the fuck up. Those people were mad at her because she's holding up the right. flight. She. She eventually got um, escorted off. You should stop. I think you should stop. You see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Okay. Okay, but I'm sorry. It's not me. Talk to him. No, no, no. Don't talk to me like that. I'm an adult. Do not talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. Tell him to stop. If you do not know what's going on, do not yell at me. You can stop recording. No, I'm not going to stop recording because I was making a video to myself. I'm going to not stop recording. And this video will show what you're doing. So I uh, would appreciate. Okay. Who the fuck are you talking to, man? Thank off. you. Like, okay. no. <laughs> she showed them oh, the video this morning. Yeah. Um. Let's see the. Let's see the comments. She should be it. banned from ever competing in the Olympics again. I want to see the comments because uh, oh, okay, there's no comments on that one. It's only. Let's see the next one. Say we're from back again for another video. Today we got Shakari Richardson threatening to sue American Airlines. That's right, y'all. Apparently, Shakari uploaded a video this morning showing a dispute between her and one of the flight attendants. She uploaded the video. She felt she was in the right so much that she uploaded the video to the public. Like, look what they did to me. You, Hit one if you think you can fix that. If that is a program or a initiative or some kind of software update that can fix that. It's on the plane, all right? Got to the point where eventually she was asked to leave the plane. So y'all know how we do. Let's check out this clip and see exactly what happened. Make sure to leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below. Yeah, let's get right to it. They didn't have to do that. They just wanted to do that. They did that. Mm-hmm. They did that song to all of us. Mm-hmm. They let other little people get away with bullshit. People mm-hmm. just shut the hell up and mind his business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, like I said, it was just the way he was talking to me. I said, exactly. I said, I could, I definitely would have listened to instructions, but the way he was talking to me was very unprofessional. And then his- I would have did the right thing, but the way you was talking to me. She said in her her little Twitter thing, she says, "Tell me if I'll be wrong to pursue legal action against the airline at American Air." Not only did the man threaten me, but also an innocent bystander who simply just wanted a picture with me. In the beginning of the video, you can hear a Caucasian male state that he doesn't give a f as a man that male flight attendant is intimidating a woman simp oh. <sighs> salute to nate waves man i mean listen man you cannot fix this this is a problem where there's no solution to this this is this type of um rationale reasoning it just it's just it's just who you are 
Um, okay, we know she's a liar because what? Who has ever been intimidated by a male flight person? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, from the video, she was talking shit to him. So she was obviously not intimidated by him. Um, also, and he cat- wasn't responding in kind. He was keeping calm because you don't hear his voice at all. She's yelling over him all the time. So he kept his voice calm the whole time. Also, the captain not doing anything to help the situation. And this flight attendant has the applause when I exited the plane. When I'm pretty serious, the disrespect I received would not have happened if I was one of them. So she was white. This wouldn't have happened. If she was white. This wouldn't have happened to her. Okay, so that's what she said. If she was white, this would not have happened. Um, Tell that to Sydney Watson, who was wedged between two people over 300 on a three three seat thing. And she's complaining to flight attendants asking to be moved and not moved. A white woman. Well, I mean... White women get knocked out in the streets every day by sun men they've never met before. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, this wouldn't have happened to her. If she, if she was white, this wouldn't have happened to her. One of them even started stated, good luck with your band. I see he took the time to do some research but not stand up for what's right. So American Air, this flight attendant name, was John, and he refused to state his last name. However, him and the lady y'all see standing next to him looked me up. Also, if I see videos posted from this flight, watch. His hands were all in my face. He didn't He didn't dismiss that part. So if I'm getting off the plane, I feel like as a flight attendant, they need a better flight attendant. He need to get off too. I'm missing my connection. Have you now got also, name. you're worried about a connection. Oh, yeah. You're worried about a connection while a grown man is disrespecting me. Give a shit. You- <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, she's, she's still on the plane doing this, holding everyone up because they asked her to get off so they can't fly as long as she's on it. So she's going to sit there and bitch with another sister on the fucking plane and hold everybody up until fucking the police come on in and escort her off. And the guy says, I have a connection. And she says, well, but what about me being disrespected? (laughs) She thinks that her being disrespected means more to this guy than his connecting flight. Baker Fresh says, we aren't too far from lawyers, activists, and local politicians saying these infectious zombies need health care. They need to go to public hospitals with masks and be around the elderly. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the homeless people? Yeah, they're going to, that homeless stuff is big money, man. Big, big, big money. And these cities getting tons of money for these homeless people. Salute to David Park, man. Um. Salute to David Park. Salute to you, bro. Um, yeah, there's, there's no hope, man. When this is your celebrity cast, we saw Shannon Sharp at the game last night. We saw the black celebrities at the fight last week. We saw Odell Beckham on the plane last week. And now we see Miss um, Miss Track America on the Akeem plane. Akeem Tlaib shooting up the <laughs> Pee Wee game. Yeah, I mean, this blows holes in the poverty conversation we were talking about a little while ago. Look at how the wealthy ones at. Better flight attendant. He need to get off, too. That's not going to happen, but my point, I want you to make sure you do your report. That's Thank okay. you, by the way. I'm off. missing my connection. Have you now got also, you're worried about a connection. Oh, yeah. You're worried about a connection while a grown man is disrespecting me. You don't give a shit. So I don't give a shit. So I don't give a shit. I didn't do anything. So that guy who said I don't give a shit. If she, if they, if the internet finds out his name, he's gonna lose everything. 
What about you disrespecting him? Because you certainly disrespect him. He's a white heterosexual male, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. I've been Captain Obvious. That's a white heterosexual male right there. If they I know, find I'm just out his, her argument. Oh, okay. But if they find out his name, if they find out his name, just for saying I don't give a shit, he's in trouble, Jack. So I don't give a shit. I didn't do anything. So, oh, Jesus. Because I'm selfish. Okay. No more. Okay. Huh? Like, a signature? Oh, I don't got no pen in that moment. Let me get my money. I'm killing this. Let me get my paper so you get out of there. Slide real quick. Slide it on my money thing right here. Put it right here real quick. Yes, ma'am. That is fun. No, I'm Miss Richardson. They want you to May I be explained to as to why I'm being removed off the plane? Okay, does the captain know the situation that happened before removing me? So they made the call. So do they know that this man's hands is all up in my face and he was very disrespectful and I felt threatened? At this time, the captain is also. I'm That's fine. I want to talk to the captain because he was very. She wants to talk to the captain of the plane. Who's in the cockpit going over the coordinates and the vectors and doing his flight check, pre flight check plan? She wants to go up and talk to him. He doesn't I want to Tesla speak to autopilot. your manager. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. He has enough going on right now, lady. Salute to John Kellogg, man. He said, John Reb, don't cut off. Uh, Peace to make waste. I have to come off the plane. Is he going to be removed off the plane as well? The flight attendant? He's not going to be removed? I'm just trying to understand the situation. So he's not being removed after being unprofessional and having his hand in my face? It's a golly, man. Mayo says, is there any wonder why they were beat? God damn, Mayo going hard. Mayo fucking, Mayo going mask off. Shit. Yikes. Damn, Mayo. I guess, I guess her face space extends about four feet away from her face because I don't think you got any close than that. Yeah, man. I mean, she's obviously lying. but well, That's what it, they always do. <laughs> he's just lying, man. Um Muramasa, man, he says victimhood is through the roof. It'll never change. Unfortunately, Sun Woman in her mind is always right. So can the captain come and does the captain know the situation? He's not gonna come. No. So I'm being removed off the plane without even being explained of why. Right, right. What's the name of that? Does what's his name? What's your name? No, but you jumped in my video. That's what started this whole thing. And the video shows you jumped in my video and invaded my privacy. So by jump, of course we saw that she turned the video around and put it on him. But let's just say he, he, he got in the line sight of her video, right? That now gives her the right to act like a jackass. Well, you know she ain't playing for paying for plain Wi-Fi, so she's got her her actual uh, mobile data on, and they tell you to turn it off before you leave the terminal. So she's got her phone out streaming, and they're telling her to turn her phone off or turn it to airplane mode. Airplane, airplane mode, yeah. This is just this is this this level. She's, of a, she's in a she's in a compact plane and he's walking down the aisle. Like, what? Where? Where else is he supposed to be? Everyone's got to get out of the way of your stupid bullshit video. 
Yikes. You know that, right? So you're going to, so it's a possibility you can lose your job because I have evidence. It's not like I'm just talking. So I feel like you should own up right now to your actions because I have to be removed off the plane because of your actions. So I'm going to make sure that you have received the consequences for your actions, okay? Okay? You understand that, right? You understand, right? Who are you talking to? You put my phone number Yes, I have your phone number. Yes, that's perfectly fine. Get her, get her so if you say one more thing, all of y'all that are very, very rude. No. Who are you talking to? I'll ten off. I promise you, everybody on this aircraft, y'all have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you do get off her Yes, I am. Y'all have no idea. And I have the evidence, so I hope that you are okay with your action. Why, ma'am? You want to make your flight so bad, but yet you don't understand and have an integrity no, and being a decent person. You saw that, right? No, I saw you making a video. Oh, okay. It was a video of my face, and he jumped in it. But it's a video, and y'all see it on social media because y'all have no idea who I am. So... Okay, but it will. It will. Bye bye. And you're fat. What the fuck? Oh, thank you so much. And I'm still a superstar. What the fuck is your problem? You're a regular person. What the fuck? You know? Oh shit! I'm a superstar. You're a regular person. That was cold as shit, man. Jesus Christ. Well, I, it's not her fault. She's got um, um, sun. Uh, she's got uh, sun sun person syndrome of I'm entitled. She's got a woman uh, privilege of I'm entitled, and she's got celebrity privilege. I mean, she she has to be catered to. Just but she, you know, she's perfect. gay too. She's a lesbian. Well, oh wow, that's the quad spectra. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah, she's a if, if, if that dude was cold, he would have been like, hey, well, if it weren't for my people, you wouldn't be on a motherfucking plane. As far as I'm concerned, you haven't made it past running, bitch. Well, I think they had, I think we had canoes, river canoes. Um, but we didn't paddle them. We had long sticks that touched the bottom of the, and we propelled them by pushing at, at the bottom of the um of the of the creek or river. With long sticks. That's pretty good. Yeah, we had that. Well, I mean, if she just wants to get shitty, it's like, all right, let's get shitty then. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. A lot of these people are in trouble, man, on this plane, man. Like, it's that flight attendant is not out of the woods yet. Because I can get by a private plane, dumbass. Yeah, okay. That flight attendant is is not out of the woods. Um, I I I hope that he knows that. Um, let, let me just go to her to to IG and show you guys some comments from this. So we got some comments. Protect our black queens. <laughs> For the men on that plane not to stick up for her, y'all lame as fuck. I wouldn't stood up for my queen. I mean, I think it means I would have. Um. <laughs> and how many sun women on that plane would stand up for her if they're preventing them from getting where they wanted to go? Can I have one? <laughs> This one says, I could be wrong, but the recording over the speaker is asking everyone to put phones on airplane mode. Standard procedure on flights. If the flight is about to take off, yeah, stop recording. This one says, hold this L, American Airlines. <laughs> this person says, this sister says, you don't have to put your phone up. It just has to be on airplane mode. And you can still record in airplane mode. So everything that's saying she's not following the rules are just slow. Yeah, but in order to record and 
live stream, you have to be on the Wi-Fi, which means you have to pay for it because they don't let Wi-Fi be free on the flight. Almost always. Um, I'm tired of us black people having to apologize for our strong emotions that they literally cause upon us through harassment and discrimination. It's insane at this point. Stop messing with us. There's no professional way of saying it because when we're nice, they still want to press our cool buttons until we're heated. Any thoughts on that fisherman? <laughs> All right, take back that invite. Fuck it. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to really? Do you really want to deal with this at your local <laughs> gas station, Wyoming man? You better get your fucking facts straight, bro. The the uh, the uh, anger buttons could be pressed by a fleet fruit fly landing on them. <laughs> It's like you you ask a sun person to do anything at all, and it's just like harassment. There's Four no... AKs on the floor. Hit the five dollar challenge, people. You yeah, need medical man. help. <laughs> let me let me let me. I'm gonna leave this right here for y'all. Let me go get some water, man. So I was watching a video donut operator did. It was from like 2019 or whatever. And it's literally a uh, woman got pulled over for a traffic stop for going 70 and a 55. And then she pulls up the, the uh, Facebook live after she moved on from the stop. And first of all, she lies. I was going 60 and a 50 or I was going 70 and a 65. Like a, only five miles an hour over the speed limit. And then, you know, of course, she didn't know the speed limit at all, and uh, he was racist to me and treated me terribly. And then they released the body cam footage, and literally he as politely as he can, could you get me your license, your registration? Here's your ticket for going um, 75 and a 55, uh, and um, here's your court summons, and uh, you need to sign this. If you don't sign this, I'm going to have to arrest you. I'm going to have to pull you out of the car and arrest you. And she finally did sign after arguing with him for about three or four minutes. And then she walks off like, I was so scared for my life on her Facebook Live. And the donut operator throws them back in, back and forth as to uh, what she says versus what the video shows. And she's lying her butt off the whole time. Oh, that's how you get uh, friends and sympathy. It's by lying. They, this this is just something that some people just do naturally. Like they, I, I, there's a few Sun News like YouTubers that I watch, and their ability to take facts and just weave a bullshit narrative and connect things that weren't there, and then just create facts to add to their narrative that weren't there. I mean, no different than this little comment or any of the other comments. And it's very difficult for for gliders to to reconcile with this because we're so fact based and truth based, and we're not so biased towards our own kind that we we don't know how to interact. We're we're too assuming that they're telling us the truth when they're just feeding bullshit nonstop over the simplest things. Wasn't there a movie about this called The uh, Invention of Lying, where everybody was honest, everybody would tell exactly the same thing, and then people figured out they could lie to get what they want, and they're sitting there lying their asses off, and everybody's believing every word they say because it's a perfectly honest society. Nobody ever lies. This is this is all a power trip by some people. They they realize like they they're not afraid of gliders. The whole like oh I was scared. That's always bullshit. They know that they can get sympathy points and their means for gaining power and staying within a first world society is to keep kicking this bear, to keep bringing up this narrative over and over and over again. Oh, yes, they've definitely OD'd on the uh, 
the uh, power uh, cocaine there. That's all it boils down to. It has nothing to do with getting to the truth or fairness. They don't want to be fair. They don't want to be your friend. They don't like you. They don't like anything about you. The fact that they have to see you bothers them. And the way in which they get to express their hate for you is by pretending that you're victimizing them. Everybody is equal, but some are more equal than others. Animal Farm. You see anything else happening out, out there tonight? Uh, I know I know New Orleans is off the chain right now. They they are completely imploding. And it's the uh I mean it's the same thing no matter what sun city you're in. They they can't keep up with the trash, the water, the police. Uh I mean just any the you know tax base fleas. It's it's the same story every single fucking time. Welcome back, Ock. <sighs> I mean, there's really, I'm speechless. There's really nothing I can say about this tweet. This this reply. Let's see some more, man. Um, um, so looking at the circumstances, this was escalated for no reason. This is the safety portion of the flight where to put your stuff before takeoff, how to fasten your seatbelt, etc. And the flight attendants walking up and down the aisle to check if you're following instructions. You flipped the camera in his direction for a hot second when he walked up to you, but then said he walked into your video. You, along with whatever amount of people in his section, are his responsibility while you're on the plane. If you fail to observe the instructions or begin to distract those around you from it, then yeah, it's a problem. Regardless of how he says it, his word comes with weight in a flight, and if you will disobey it, it can become criminal charges fines. Pick your battle. This wasn't one worth fighting. And in court of law, if they countersue you, you could lose your case and then some. As a famous young person, your fans are going to be yes men. You're still experiencing and learning the world. Don't let them mislead you. In the future, launch a complaint instead of an argument. Hell, post a video if you really want him to be disciplined. You have a large enough following for an impact. But arguing? That only gets escalated and the airline goes on defensive. You get banned from either flying commercial in general or from the airline. Play chess, not checkers in the future. <laughs> Based. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, but like she she she'll never be able to reason like that. No, you can't. You're never gonna get her to admit <laughs> that she was in the wrong. Ever. No matter yeah. what. But it, when you're on the airplane, you're in their house. Like it is yeah. their like you're about to be thousands of feet in the air. And they have to make sure that you're safe if something goes wrong. And you making your little fucking bullshit video for your 20 fucking followers or whatever you got doesn't matter. So this, um, yeah, this one says, anybody calling her names for taking up for herself because she feels harassed needs to hit the unfollow button. Because why are you here? Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, so everybody's not with her, though. That's good. The fact that, like, there were people piping up against her, too, is pretty telling of how mm -hmm. things are kind of, uh, they're not so cut and dry in terms of support for the whatever the sun person brings up for a grievance. But you you have the fact too that like 
gliders were like the majority on that plane. Like any plane you're on, that's not like the basketball team traveling somewhere. Gliders are going to be the majority. So, like even we saw with the Odell Beckham, people were kind of like, you know, pretty upset with him too. Um, even though, you know, he kind of started was cursing people out, but. Um, Evan Jr. Clark says, remember when David Dow got his jaw broken against a seat but not giving up a first-class seat to a flight attendant? Nobody called that racism. Why? <laughs> well, was he black? Salute to Deluxe 247, a.k.a. David Dow know. sounds a whole lot like Asian. A.k.a. the real MVP. Salute to Deluxe 247, man. Tomcat says, now you might understand why brothers are getting passports up to us. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Like I said, women can't be wrong and some people can't be wrong. So she's got two strikes against her there on that. She just cannot take an L. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, uh. Man, and she, all I know her, I don't know her as a superstar. I know her for getting her fucking boots smoked by the fucking Jamaicans, man. That's what I know her for. But anyway, um, shout out to um, Shelly Ann, Fraser Price, and Lane Thompson, hurrah, and all the other Jamaican women that are real superstars in track. Um, yeah. yeah. Um let's see where was I going next with it? Uh whew. and uh, you know, them glider queens that I know in New Orleans, one of them just had a carjacking outside her house. Mm -hmm. and, and she she acts like it's not even like a big deal. It's so fucking weird how I mean she's she's a liberal. But it, I, I can still you, don't can understand. Put it in the back chat. Can you put it in the back chat? No, I don't. It's just something she told me. It's not a. It's not a story. Like they've had four hundred, almost five hundred cars stolen and since yeah. the start of the year. There. Yeah, we talked about that the other day. Yep. And trying to make them understand, like the dynamics and the social situation and the sun situation is. I mean, it's like trying to teach a cat how to, like, do backstroke or something. Yeah, they're not that bright either. I think the glider glider 